I wanted to record this quick video to show you how I work with layers in Canva. Right. So this is a design that I've put together. You can see all these design pieces together like this. Now, how do I work with layers in Canva? This is the layers tab, right? You see overlapping here. You also see all here. Now, if you select this, this is the background. This is the shape. Now, when you see something like this, like you can see right here, it means the shape is grouped together or the shapes are grouped together. So if I click on ungroup here, you'll see all of this here will be ungrouped. Now I'm going to click on this position, arrange tab here. You can click on center. You can click on top, left, right, down, middle, center, right here. And you can see the layers here. Now I'm going to select this other one here and I'm going to move it here. Now, in order to make it faster, let me just put it to the center. This here, I'm going to select center as well. And I'm going to drag it so that it comes to the center. Now you can see that it's forming a line, making that line. The line simply means that your item, your element is in the center of the screen. Now for this, I can move it around. But as you move it again, you see that it's also at the center of the screen. Now as you move things around, you will notice that to the side of your screen here, center gets on and it goes off. So you see it goes on, it goes off. And you can simply select that. Now, I'm just showing you that here to show you a simple way. Now, let me show you this here. So, this is me when I received my Canva, Canvasador badge. <laughs> and this was how it looks like. Now, if I were going to edit this, let's say I'm going to change the image here. Now, you can see I'm selecting this image here. You can see this image is placed in a frame. Unfortunately, if I do it like this, do it like this, I can take the frame. And I can undo that. So if I say is the shadow that I don't like, I can simply select the shadow from where I've selected it right now. And you can see the shadow is selected here. And I can take the shadow, move it around. And if I want to, I can select this star and adjust that. Now, let me show you a little bit of complicated design. So this is a design that utilizes quite a number of elements. If I click on position here, you'll see all of these elements now begin to show up. This is the background. This is this element in the background. This is also shadow. This is white rectangle covering this part here. And this is circle for this face here. You can see this is circle. This is another circle. So they are kind of put together to form that interesting um, combination there. Now, how do I use position? I use it in four ways. Number one is all by scrolling through all of the elements here. Second is by checking for overlaps. So when I check for overlaps, this allows me to easily group things together. So let's say this item here, this one, two, three. Let's say I want to select the three of them. I can simply group them together. Now this is an element. Now if I come to overlap here, you can see that it's now added all of these together as an overlap. So it comes like this and I can now choose on group. And the third way is by coming to layers, all overlapping, and then coming to arrange here, up, down, align to top. This is where I create all my thumbnails. This is basically how I create all my thumbnails. Now, what I do is, if I click on position here, you will see that first of all, it is arrange because that's the default setting. Then it comes to layer. Then you click on overlapping, which is where you now begin to see all of the different elements that are on top of each other. And then, if you click on all, you see everything at once. You can see in my own design here, all and overlapping are basically the same thing. So what do you do? How do you utilize that? Let me use a more complicated design. So here you see, you can select this here and you can move it around. Now, the moment I move it around, it has gone from here to overlapping. So if I undo that and I say, let's separate it, let's put it to this side. You can see overlapping has simply just changed from this item to this item and it has now added this item to overlapping but if i come back to all you still see everything here so the way to use layers in canva is basically to always check whenever you want to select anything so let's say you want to select um, something in this background here if you select control you can literally so i'm going to select control okay let me use shift and control so using shift and control I've selected the one behind that. Now I'm using shift and control because I'm on a Windows laptop right now. So again, let me repeat that for you. I want to select the red bar behind these essentials. I'm going to control shift 
and I'm going to select the text there. As you can see right now, it selected the text behind that. So that's another way I use layers in Canva. I hope this is helpful to you. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you in another video.